That's for Quop. And that's leaving young master Zai on that off lane clockwork. Side of cloud nine, we've got EE picking up the PL. It'll be Farta here on that mid lane. Rip side in and back, bonus seven as well. The CS for him, looking all right. Six for zero at the moment, mid lane. Zai, potentially thinking about a bit of a wrap round onto Farta here. Seeing what he can do, but it's going to be the old walking gank. He's only got a point in the uh, cogs and the rocket flare. He's still not spending his Oh God, sorry. I'm sorry. We missed first blood. They're going to kill in return. That Sunstrike's going to be a big one. It's going to be two heroes down for the side of Cloud9, one for the side of Secret. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's not miss this one, because mid lane, Zeiss is trying to come in for a bit of a walk down. Don't. Big Daddy. He's actually going to wrap back round towards the mid lane. Maybe looking for an ice charge. I mean, the, the distance is there. They could certainly could trap RTC out, and RTC could be in trouble here. The cold has been thrown down. Oh, the ice charge. They're just a little bit too short, and at the same time, Misery and EE, they go in hard on the top lane, and they find a kill on Zai. So even the big daddy messes up. Right. So just confirm for the side of secret. Invoker is pretty much on his own here. And Farta realizes he's in a dangerous position. And does just keep himself safe and backed up. And what well, they're going to try and go in for this. There's a TPM from Big Daddy No Tail and S4 and Puppy. They want to go for this one here. There's going to be a snowball straight away. Heading for RT. There's another TP coming in as well. And can the side of Cloud9 turn this? There's going to be a shallow grave onto Big Daddy No Tail, providing him the sustainable to stay alive. And RT, he might be in trouble. He pops the charges. He's going to remain like massive Sonic Wave onto free. The Scream of Pain will bring down Bone 7 here on the puck. And Secret. Forcing out a lot of TPs there. Cloud9 trying to do what they can to turn it around, but they end up having to walk back to S4 on the co-op. Allowed the side of secret to even find the kill onto Bone 7. Now EE, well, he's found himself a puppy, but, well, puppy's found him as Artor's found him as well. So EE probably not wanting to stick around here at this situation. Oh, there's a hook shot from Zai here from downtown. Doppelganger's out, though. Zai's going to try and run this one down. He's got the battery assault. There's going to be a sunstrike coming in. It will catch Zai. He turns it around and he brings down the clockwork. There's a wraparound from Arteezy. Oh, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. And Artor, he's certainly the hard place. He's looking for the raises here. Puppy chasing him up to the high ground. He hasn't got a doppelganger here for 10 seconds. Puppy's out of mana. It is only the right clicks that he can provide here. Arteezy trying to chase this one down. Does he manage to get himself out of this? He's going to have the doppelganger again here. Can he do for a big play here? He's going to go south. He looks for the TP, but it's not going to work there. Artur with a final raise will bring down the PL. And that's going to be able to get the money in the bank for Arteezy to have his treads finished and 550 gold on top of that as well. Bottom lane, S4's got a double damage. And S4 and Kuroki, they're... The ping is coming out. Looks like the side of secret they want to group up here. And maybe look for a bit of action. We've got four of them in the jungle at the moment. Puppy's just been making the stacks here. Almost certainly for Arteezy and Arteezy. Maybe we'll have to grab himself this 10 minute rune. Oh, Big Daddy No Tail. He's no pulling in here on S4, but there's a lot of the side of secret here. Hookshot going to go straight past onto Bonus 7. There will be a sleep here from Kuroki on the high ground, trying to set things up on the sidelines of the sleep. S4 blows up No Tail there with a the sonic wave. Bonus 7 pops down the dream card. There's backup coming in from Fanta, but it doesn't matter. Bonus 7, he's already dead. Puppy controlling misery here from the high ground. It's a double kill for S4. S4 will be able to blink himself away. Zai gets out as well. And Team Secret. Again, just taking the favorable trades against the side of Cloud9. Level difference now. Level 11 against the level 8 of this Invoker. RTC 6.1k against the 3.6. Fada's trying to do what he can. PL will be able to clear out this top tower. RTC trying to finish this one off. He's going to put the reg. Oh! RTC, have mercy, please. Big Daddy no tell TP's in. It's going to be a double kill there as Artor with the raises picks off Farta as well. My goodness. This Shadow Fiend, somebody stop him. Ah, uh, he's, he's well, now that the Creep Wave has been been taken down, he, he, he oh, just the Zai hookshot, prepare yourself, oh, there it is! Were they prepared? No, they weren't! Bo7, he's gonna be shallow great by Misery just in time. Misery will go down, and Bo7, it looks like he's gonna die anyway, he tries to escape, it's not enough. Zai there with a double kill, perfect setup, and now he is teeping in, he wants to go for the plays, he wants to find something at the same time, big down your no-tail, snowballing onto Zai, Zai will duke out the Sunstrike, he's not gonna connect, Puppy trying to set this one around, trying to bring down the Sigil, Eternal Envy throwing out the Lancer onto Zai, bringing Zai low, Farta, he's looking for the cleanup now, going over the Phantom Rush, they will be able to take down Zai, can they find any Anything more here? They've lost the tower here as Kuroki's able to finish that one off. And with the four members of Secret here, I don't think Cloud9 want to run into this one. But Secret, they want to run into Cloud9. Kuroki leading him with a sleep. Here we go. Hot Easy trying to find himself in position. He doesn't have the Red Cream of Souls, but he might not need it here. With just the punches on Safari, there'll be a Sun Strike coming down. It will just connect to Hot They can bring Hot Easy down. That's going to be massive. They do. They get the kill on Artor. Both seven's getting low with the freeze from Puppy Onion in place. S4 on a dominating streak. Now he's trying to see if he can clean up this one. He's trying to chase down the quad, but he's a little bit lower mana. He's gone for that greedy. E build where he gets those boots to travels up and it's not going to be able to offer him too much in this fight. S4 contemplating whether he can go back in here. 
But again, a massive fight there. But a good fight for C9 in the sense that they did take down Zai. And they also managed to bring down RTZ there. So, so Cloud down there. He's got the Sonic Wave available. There's going to be a TP in as well from RTZ. They want to fight this. They don't want to give up this tower without a fight. And, well, they're going to look for a jump. And, oh, Big Daddy is going to try and TP out. It's the first time he's going to be there. Yeah, Poppy with the ultimate there. Bringing down the Tusk. And the rest of C9 will simply TP away. So they lose the secret. And here we go. Ready to go up to the high ground. Cloud9, they need to do something. They need to pull something out of the bag, and they need it to be big. Weave's going to get thrown down onto Artesia as well. He's taking a lot of heavy damage here with the Forge Spirit hitting down, forcing the Shadow Fiend back. Still does have this Aegis. He's still got this BKB, and oh, Artesia just doesn't care. He stands there. Oh, that's a nice cheeky such strike and brings Arto incredibly low. And the Ice Shards will pop the Aegis now. So the question is, does Secret want to stick around now with the fact that the Aegis isn't... Isn't there anyone on the SS7? Uh, looks like they do. At this point, with the lead that they have, they feel confident going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cloud9. And Cloud9, they're going to have to do something about this song from Kuroki. They're looking to set something up here. Who's RT going to look for with the Rec Room? He's going to look for Farta. He's going to pop it. Is he going to get the timing? Yes, he is. Goodbye, Invoker. There's going to be a snowball from Big Daddy trying to keep himself alive. Bone 7 jumping into the middle of the mall, but the Mech pod. In fact, it's the Guardian Greaves here for the side of Team Secret. And Team Secret, they've been able to take down two. They take down three. A buyback coming out from Farta. Misery getting low. He's had to shallow grave himself. And Kuroki is feeling the aggression over EE there with his diffusal blade. Misery will go down. RT is still alive. He got himself a triple kill. And now, we're going to see if AE can clean up. They've managed to find three key heroes from the side of Secret. But his four heroes down on Cloud9. It was a dieback from Farta. This could certainly work here. And Zai. Oh, misery. Oh, they're coming in. Cloud9, they're coming into the jungle. The ping is coming out. It's all been scouted out. And now, the song is going to set up the fight here for Secret. Zai is going to move in between both No Tell and Farta. Going to look for the cog pushback. Pushing them right into the center of this fight. Orchid onto Big Daddy. The Sonic Wave flying through as well. That's the Tusk down. Farta down as well on the Evoker. Neither heroes with buyback. Hook shot onto Misery. He is on the high ground, but he's almost certainly going to die as well. He's going to be able to keep himself alive here with a shallow grave. But the tick damage should be enough. And RTZ with a Requiem flying through. Will be juked out by Bone 7. It's a godlike streak here for S4. Now the Blink Forward. Double kill as well. Claimed by the co -op. He gets the Orchid onto EE. He's able to take down the co -op, though, with the Diffusal Blade. Now the net holding EE down. Will he be able to live for this Poppy? He sits there and he lets it go. That's a five-hero team wipe. It's Cloud9. They're all on the deck. Secret. They lose S4, but nothing else. 24 to 10. Secret. They're ready to try and take... And Secret. Here we go. S4. He's got the rune. And Bo7 just coming in with a brainy rift, trying to do something now. Kuroki, he wants to set this one up. He's got the sleep. We're going to see Artur looking for the Requiem onto two. Big Daddy and Bo7. Do you remember those heroes? Because now they're gone. Three heroes down. Zai Hook shutting onto Farte. He'll fall as well. There's going to be a buyback from Bo7. But he's going to get Orchid up straight away. That's a dieback. GG is called by Bo7. And ladies and gentlemen, Team Secret there taking game one against Cloud9. And EE, he tucks his tail between his legs. He runs away from the disaster that is his ancient exploding and uh, what a game there team secret whoa 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 ladies and gentlemen that is it we're going to be going to game two the